Well, we've reached the end of another week. Hope you're going to join us Sunday morning at Ephraim Church. And I'm really excited about this because this Sunday I'm starting a brand new series we're calling Final Breath. And we're going to answer this question. What is it like to die? Now, we're not going to answer that question by people's experiences. What does the Bible say? And it says a lot. What is it like to die. We're going to see that this Sunday at Ephraim Church, so I hope you'll join us. Well, we want to wrap up our look in this morning check-in at three pitfalls we can fall into seen in Malachi 1. We saw number one, the pitfall of action. We failed to give God our best. We saw number two, the pitfall of attitude. We get bored with the routine. But today we see the pitfall of aim. Look what it says in Malachi 1 verse 11. For from the rising of the sun, even to its setting, my name, God says, will be great among the nations. And in every place, incense is going to be offered to my name. And a grain offering that is pure for my name will be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. I love that verse. It's speaking of the coming millennial kingdom. When from the rising of the sun till the sun goes down, the name of the Lord will be praised. You see, the priests forgot that. You know what pitfall they fell into? They forgot the main thing. Oh, yeah, they were, they were offering sacrifices and doing some things, but they forgot the main thing. And what's the main thing? The main thing, folks, will always be lifting up Jesus. You can serve till you're blue in the face, but do you remember the main thing? Are you lifting up Jesus? When it comes right down to it, folks, that's really all that matters. Now, for each of the pitfalls, we've looked at Romans 12, 11. We saw, number one, we need to be diligent and said not lagging behind in diligence. We saw yesterday we need to be determined, fervent in spirit, but it ends with this phrase. Ready? It says, serving the Lord. Not only do we need to be diligent, not only do we be determined, we need to be dedicated. We do it, why? To lift up the name of Jesus. When I think of these pitfalls, I think of the story of William Borden, heir to the Borden Dairy Estate. As a graduation gift, his parents sent him on an around-the-world cruise. I didn't get that gift at my graduation, but that's okay. That's where he went. And as he went in 1904 around the world, he saw the need of the world. And he was convicted to abandon the board in Dairy Estate and to become a missionary to China. He ended up during seminary feeling the, 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 the temptation to say, maybe I should just go back into the family business. So he wrote in his Bible the words, no reserves. And then he was also offered many other lucrative jobs that were tempting. So he wrote in the Bible under the words, no reserves, no retreats. And then he sailed for China. He had a stopover in Egypt where he contracted cerebral meningitis and he died. And many would say, what a waste. But when his dear mother got his Bible, under the words, no reserves and no retreats, right before he died, he wrote these words, no regrets. And when I get to the end of my life, I hope I can say that, that when it came to serving Jesus with all of my heart, there were no regrets. Father, may we serve you with that fervor today, lifting up the name of Jesus. For it's in his name that we pray. Amen. Well, I hope you'll share this on your Facebook page, and I hope you'll be part of our services Sunday as we start that new series, Final Breath, and then join us Monday morning for another morning check-in. Our topic for Monday is going to be compassion. We'll see you this Sunday and again Monday morning.